Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another quick PS4 update video on the new exploit for 11.0. There has been quite a few updates that have happened over the past couple of days. I'm just going to dive into them right here. And this will be a pretty quick video, I think, because we are very, very close at this point to getting the full jailbreak release. And once it does, I'll have a full tutorial that covers the entire setup process on getting your PS4 jailbroken on 11.0 or lower. So that will all be covered. So in my last update, I showed you guys that we were able to load payloads using the new exploit, but on an older firmware, 9.00, we were able to get the Gold Hen payload running. And that was just developers proving out the exploit, making sure they can get it working on a known firmware first before porting it to 11.0. All the porting work is what's been going on over the past couple of days. And it's essentially done at this point. We've got the loaders have been updated for 11.0. So Lightning Mods has got his own loader for loading payloads. Sistro's got his own loader for loading payloads as well. And they're working independently. So we've got two loaders working right now for 11.0. And then on top of that, we've also got some payloads release. And Gold Hen is now out for testing. So testers have been testing Gold Hen. There's a couple of things still not working, which is why it's not publicly released yet. Um, but it will be released very soon. It's just a couple of things that need to be corrected and fixed and then it should be good to go. Pretty much everything else, I would say it's working up to like 90 plus percent. All of the features are working. It's just that last 10% of things that are broken right now. Some, some of the network related stuff isn't working. So once that stuff has been fixed, it should be ready to go. So Lightning Mods has released two payloads so far that work on 11.0. You've got the PS4 module dumper and the update blocker. Uh, which is pretty good. It's actually a slightly better version of the update blocker than the one that's in Gold Hen, I believe, because I think it also unmounts the update partition. So, you know, if you want to give that a go, if you're on 11.0, you can definitely run that payload because it will help prevent you from accidentally updating to a higher firmware. So that would be a good one to load if you're looking for something to load in the meantime while you wait for Gold Hen. We also interestingly got OSM, who, you know, comes back into the scene from time to time He's not really in the scene that much anymore, but he decided to kind of drop this little teaser showing that he got uh, Hen working for 11.0. He basically threw a homebrew enabler together for 11.0, which will maybe be some kind of open source version uh, because right now Gold Hen is closed source. So it's only Sistro that can really like update Gold Hen, whereas other developers with like an open source Hen would be able to update it and get a version of Hen out maybe a little bit quicker. So that is uh, something that he's worked on, but I haven't seen a release for this yet. So what we have right now are the payloads from Lightning Mods. So we've got the module dumper here and the update blocker. So let's try the disable updates payload here. So what you'll need for this is you'll need to download the stage2.bin from Lightning Mods. This will be linked in the description along with the update blocker.bin file. All you're going to do is take that stage2 payload. I've renamed it to Lightning Mods.bin uh, just so that I don't mix it up with Sistro's version. So we're going to go ahead and run our payload loader. We're going to take the stage two payload from Lightning Mods and drag that in to the program. And then what we want to do is copy the update blocker to a USB drive. So I've got my USB drive right here and I'm going to copy the payload, the update blocker onto the root of my USB. And I just need to rename it to payload.bin. And that's it right there, payload.bin. And then we can eject that USB and plug it in to our PS4. Okay, so firstly, of course, we need to set up the internet connection by connecting a LAN cable, an ethernet cable between the PS4 and the computer, and then setting up an internet connection using a LAN cable, selecting custom, selecting PPPoE, entering a random user ID and password. And then we click next to automatic, automatic, do not use. And then we can test the internet connection. Okay, and with that, we can then try and run the exploit. So we click run exploit, test our internet connection and let that load. Make sure we have 11.0 selected and our ethernet adapter selected. Will it load first time? Mm, doesn't look like it. Nope. Okay, we'll try again. Okay, this might be loading. Stuck on 93%. Nope. Yep, there we go. Okay, there we go. Scanning for corrupted object. It's stuck, which means it's loading. So we're just going to wait here. And hopefully we should be good. There it is. 
Stage 2 sent. We've got the payload injected successfully. And there we go. Blocked updates. The update blocker is now enabled. And I think that's the last message. Yep. So then we can test that here by heading down to our system software update. And there you go. Cannot download 11.4. Well, hold on. Hold on. I'm kind of cheating a little bit here because we've got the exploits still, uh, still set for PPPoE. So it wouldn't be able to grab the update online anyway. Uh, so let's go ahead and reconnect the internet properly. And then we'll try this. So system software update. And there it is. Add it to downloads. And we should see that it fails. Yep, cannot download. So there we go. The update blocker is working. So that's one of the payloads you can run right now on 11.00. As you can see, this PS4 has been updated to 11.00. Okay, so this time I'm loading the Gold Hen payload from Sistro using Sistro's loader. And this is, of course, just a test version right now. It's not fully released yet. Um, you know, it's been given to a bunch of testers, but it's not been released as of the time of recording. But as you can see, it is loaded successfully. So let's go ahead and set up our internet connection. I'll use an easy setup here. And try and get back connected to the internet. There we go. Okay, so you can see we have Gold Hen running. We've got the Gold Hen menu. Everything is good to go right here. So like I said, about 90% 90, 90 or more of Gold Hen is functional right now. You can see we've got version 11.0, Gold Hen version 2.4 beta 17. So it is all pretty much up and running. Now there's also some homebrew apps that appear to work at the moment. Uh, like the, I think, Items Flow, Homebrew Store, and the Cheats Manager appear to work. And I believe it's because they're using some way to dynamically get the, the latest offsets or the method that they're using to get the offsets is different to other apps. A lot of other Homebrew apps use hard-coded offsets for each firmware. So those apps will require a new version in order to work on 11.0, whereas some apps like these that use some kind of dynamic method just work out of the box on 11.0. Now there might still be some issues where they don't work 100% all of the time. There could be some edge cases where certain aspects don't work. But for the most part, these homebrew apps appear to work at the moment, which is great, especially the PS4 Cheats Manager right now, because if you can load Gold Hen, you can then you know download all the latest cheats, patches and plugins, and especially the homebrew store as well, so that you can download any other homebrew apps when they come out. So. You know, I did get the homebrew store working before, so let's give it a try now. See if it crashes or if it loads. Oh, nope, we're good. There we go. So yeah, the homebrew store is running on 11.0 without needing any kind of update. So yep, yeah, there it is. We've got the homebrew store. So that is how far we are right now. We're basically done. It's just a couple of fixes to Gold Hen and then it will be released and then we'll have a full jailbreak. And once we have the full jailbreak, I will be doing a full tutorial, which will show you guys how to set things up uh, for the first time on 11.0, as well as how to update to 11.0 if you're on any of the older firmwares. Although, of course, if you already have a previous jailbreak, you're way better off staying on that jailbreak because, you know, it's a proven jailbreak that's more stable and, you know, has support and has had support for a long time. So if you're on a previous jailbreak, you should not be considering updating, I wouldn't think. But you know, for anybody else who's higher than 9.00 but lower than 11.02, you'll be able to take advantage of this jailbreak really soon. Anyway, that's it for this one. Just a quick update there on the progress so far. Hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video.